Hi folks, how are you all doing today? And it's time for Snake 4.0. <laughs> so I hope you would be wondering on what we are going to add today. So I have a bunch of things which I'm going to add today. So let's see. Let's see that. Before that, what exactly we have been creating so far? Let's quickly have a look at it. Okay, so I will just start playing the game and like you can see, so I, I've just uh, increased the length whenever we are getting food, right? So when it touches eggs, basically I'm, I'm just increasing the size, size or so not size, basically length, length of the snake, okay? So, okay it's level two and it's faster now so we have added levels right and now it's 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 a little more faster and yeah this is about it and when you're touching the edge that would end your game okay so the first feature which i am adding today is this like you can see, uh, the snake stops at one of its costumes, right? What if I just want to, you know, make it um, like, I just want to make it look like uh, a dead snake, right? So let's go to costumes to make it look like a dead snake. What I'm going to do is I'm just duplicating this and uh on the second one we we have we have to just decrease the size right okay cool that's that's pretty much it on that and um so on this I would just want to change the outline color also to black, let's say. Would would this make it look like um, a dead snake? I would fill it with white color, what say? not this well so if i'm changing it to this it it looks like i mean we are changing the animation right of course it should look like a dead one now I hope so and what else we can change so maybe if I'm just increasing its length I'm stretching it downwards that uh, like it's um, its tongue has fallen down or something like that I want to show uh, I hope it's it's doing the task I think I think so. I think so. It's it's working. Um, yeah, maybe maybe we'll whenever game is over, right? So when we're switching switching backdrop to game over, right? So I would also go to looks and I would switch costume to ball b3 okay and i would hide the egg okay to hide the egg basically um when backdrop switches to game over we can hide it so we have this when backdrop switches to game over go to looks and get hide and when green flag clicked you can show it again okay so that would make it um, hide itself when when you're touching the 
okay see and now no, uh, egg is no more again you're getting the egg cool right okay okay it's doing the thing right now now i would say not only switching the costume waiting uh, two seconds in the costume right let's go to control what shall we do is after switching the costume we'll just wait for two seconds okay and then switch the backdrop to game over right after doing this i would say when backdrop switches to game over okay i would want to hide it i mean not showing it all the time like this that doesn't look good right and when green flag clicked i would want to show it okay i think this would um, this would make it um, look good and meaningful okay cool yeah yeah that that's doing the thing okay i think uh, this forever thing is working and it's it's just switching the thing for a minute and it's going back then instead of placing it here right i would delete it from here delete block delete so if touching edge switching backdrop to game over and stop all right and when backdrop switches to game over switch costume to ball b3 wait two seconds and hide let's see how this works two i am just saying it's not hiding it it's not performing the thing because uh, we stopped all right so most probably that's the reason i mean we can uh, we can only just make it go here I would say I would I would just add it over here let's get it down in the animation thing right it's this is going on forever right if uh, if I just add a condition here if backdrop let's say do you have anything related to okay if backdrop name yes cool now i have got an idea so i'm just placing it over here on top okay we'll do one thing drag it here drag it down here drag it down here if equals operator let's get equals operator let's go to looks and get if backdrop name if backdrop name equals um, game over right let's go here 
if backdrop name equals game over switch costume to ball b3 wait two seconds and then continue doing the same whatever it was doing so till then uh, it might have stopped doing things and uh, i think this this should work without the glitch let's check it out okay cool but we can't really see that on the screen happening right hmm. okay let's do this so when backdrop switches to game over instead of hiding it i would say hide it over here let's say let's see come on okay no this isn't working that well i think the previous thing was actually good don't you think so does still eating that i would say i would switch costume to ball b3 and wait two seconds and switch backdrop to game over and stop all okay i would do this instead let's see Hmm. Switch costume to ball B3. Okay, to solve this thing, we can actually do something like this. So we can also uh, stop this thing from happening when when game is we can use a game state variable here okay to do that so if you're using if game state is play right then you can make it happen if game state is end right then you will stop this from happening okay so we can do that i can uh, create a variable called this game state game state game state okay let's say okay and i don't want to show it here set game state set game state to um one Okay, one means true basically, or uh, like game is on, something like that. Okay, so if game state is zero, then uh, then we should not execute it. Okay, we should not execute this, right? So for that, what I would do, I would just drag uh, if conditional statement, if I go to operators and get equals operator go to variables and get game state if game state equals one then you will do you will do all of this if game state turns zero you shouldn't do this okay then if touching edge i would set game state to zero then then that would not perform its itself right let's see it's it's something similar to flag variable we have created the other day okay see yes yes it is happening correct fine finally we could solve it and after waiting two seconds we can hide it right so let's go to looks and let's hide it hide it there cool now now let's again check this out so it would go stick to the edge it would wait two seconds there hide itself 
and game over cool we have added one the, one of the features now right so what would be the next thing so let's let's change the backdrop right we have some boring backdrops correct so i would say this is the first one this is the level two thing i would try to choose something from here let's see fancy hmm, nothing is so good music sports outdoors to match the snake game we would be needing something else right hmm, nothing is so good i think um, maybe we can just choose jurassic this is not that good like we want outdoors right hmm. so seven better hmm. okay maybe maybe so i'm just dragging it up and i'm i'm renaming this as start so that we need not change the thing right i would say delete this level two when it shows level two we can actually bring it down and then switch it back to start right hmm. so i would uh, i would say let's let's see yeah it's doing the thing it would bring game over here right and when you get five points let's see how the level two thing would turn up and uh, and the egg cool we we have a good good um, thing now right like a good twist and turn happening here that's good so we have uh, we can also add background effects okay if you want to add so let me show you when green flag lit red looks so you can um, you can ch forever change the color effects right so go to control and get forever so you can change color effect or uh, like you can change any of these effects right i would say change color effect by 25 oh my god it looks it looks so different right and this color is also changing uh, because backdrops right so on the backdrops we're doing it so definitely we can expect it over there so if you want you can add in animation effects like this okay and um, and then what else we can do is we can add sound effects right so that's one of the features we can add so sounds basically you can just click on sounds here you have a pop you can delete the pop and you can just choose any sound uh, whichever you like right so i would say i i'll i'll get classical piano for now okay um i'm not i'm not playing the sound because um yeah simply <laughs> so we want to play sound forever right in the same forever block you can just say play sound that would actually play the sound for you adding sound effects will make it more interesting 
um, also when getting the egg you can add sound effect okay so and uh, not only this like you can actually add multiple egg sprites right so uh, we can change the costume of this egg basically to another color or you can add or you can uh, change the thing itself right from from an egg to apple or something like that let's say i i'm choosing a costume here i'm just gonna food costumes let it load and let's get one if you want to add more food sprites this is this is just to add more food sprites okay so on the food um i think i i would get an apple and i would uh, i would want to delete all these uh, all these other costumes which i have in place so it's it's just trying to add it okay cool i'm i'm just deleting everything first and then we'll we'll try to add another costume so let it load and then i would dump um, i would add an apple costume here it turned out and it turns out to be a little slow today okay yeah so i have added apple right so apple um you can actually just change the sprite as apple okay and if you're um if you're getting apple even then you just want to do same thing right and it's already done if you just duplicate the sprite what happens is the code is already duplicated for you okay so i would say we can directly run and check this thing too as in if it works properly or not so we have uh, oh wait just give me a second before doing this stop it so um, i'm just removing the sound because i don't want it in the video so yeah let's uh, let's quickly run it again and check it out okay with apple it gives me one point and with oh with egg it gives me one point right and with apple it only gives me one point again oh so if you want you can add two points right and you can do that okay and if you don't want the color effects to be uh, there you can actually remove them okay but i wanted to just show you that you can uh, experiment on these two okay and then um, on apple i would say change score by two each time for apple i'm getting two points and uh, i'm i'm just letting it be 60% of the original size right so yeah you can um, get things now and you can get two points for each apple one point for every egg you are capturing okay so you can still make it smaller if you would like to so let's say i want it to be a 50% size you can do it right likewise uh, we have added multiple features in today's session also correct and i hope this is going to be the last session for for snake game and its versions right because they've been doing so many things already and i i could only think of these and if you want to if you want me to add any other thing or any other stuff you can do let me know in the comment section below and this is going to be uh i would try i would try and add something more 
and for now for now i'm just ending the series of snake game uh, versions right so we're gonna um, if at all if, if i get more suggestions or if i get more ideas i would definitely come back and add add on all those things okay so if i'm adding something i would definitely share it with you guys right so yeah this is all about our today's session and i hope you enjoyed adding more features into your snake game and making it colorful and uh, yeah if you can download and upload the backdrops that would be more great right so you can search for any kind of a backdrop internet in the internet and just place your cursor over here and choose a backdrop icon Click on upload backdrop and upload the backdrop. Adjust it according to the scratch screen and you're good to go. Okay. So if you want me to show it, of course, I would definitely show that. I would just take a picture. Let me get. Um, I have a duck picture. So I'm just opening this, but... Um, but uh, don't worry you you can get any backdrop actually you can download a backdrop and you can see it is uh, it's absolutely covering my entire screen and i need not adjust adjust it anymore right so if at all you feel like you need any adjustments you just have to click on the picture click on convert to vector first click on the picture and drag it up drag it up to cover the entire screen and that would uh, that's it so it covers entire screen now right you can zoom out and see you can look at it if it's covering it up or no right likewise you can uh, actually experiment on any other backdrops you can download and you can upload them and um, i would delete it for now because i don't want it but this is how this is how you can uh, make it right so you can also add some kind of animation effects like um you know setting the size and making it zoom up a little bit right so you can do that and uh, there are some other effects which you can add maybe possibly on uh, other kinds of stuff in the next sessions i will be showing you all those things okay till then um uh, i will take your leave and um, yeah i will be meeting you all in the next session with another um another game or animation maybe i don't know i've planned it yet i haven't planned it yet right okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks huh bye bye and have a great day all